name's Laura and welcome back to my channel. So, today is a little bit different. First of all, as you can see by the title, it is an unboxing day. However, I am in a different surrounding because I'm actually in my hotel room right now. Um, I wanted to do the box of Pretty Obsessed. I did get this um, about a week and a half ago, but unfortunately it clashed right at the beginning of the kids' school holidays. Um, they've been off all of last week and Monday. I then have been working... Um, yesterday and today um, at my job at Jewelry Maker doing some teaching and then tomorrow again I'm, I'm working again on a shift so I'm actually staying in a hotel for two nights hence why my surroundings are as they are I've got a lovely room um, so I really wanted to try and do this box whilst we were still in the month of February because it is February's unboxing of Pretty Obsessed so let's get to it Pretty Obsessed it is a newer to the market but it's probably been going for nearly well i've probably been subscribed for nearly a year now to this box um they're definitely improving as time's gone by they've gotten a lot better with the products a lot more um known uh, brands as such i have found that they are still quite drugstore kind of brands but you know um i I, am, I'm, I look forward to this box probably the most as i find it the most kind of varied with the content so basically you have a choice of doing two options you can either pay 14.99 plus postage or 24.99 plus postage and you'll either the 14.99 gets you a five item box the 24.99 gets you a 10 item box. I always choose the 10 item box just because I just wanna see what I'm gonna get and I like to get the full package. So I will put the details down below for you, but that's just generally how it works. They take the payment out on the first of the month or around about the first couple of days of the month. They then get the, your box around about, sort of within the last 10 days of the month, you'll get your box. Uh, they do deliver it via Hermes, which is a courier in the UK. What else is there to say? That's pretty much it. Let's see what's in this box. So I have already opened it because I'm doing a new style of um, unboxing where I'm looking at the boxes so that I can let you know what's in it really, to be honest. Now the box itself comes in a white magnetic box like this. So it lifts up and it's also, I have opened it as I said, and there's your sort of contents. Now recently over the last couple of months, they have um, started including just a little leaflet there's no information about the products. There's no information about the products in the actual box itself. Um, so it is a it is a pretty much a, a guessing game. Um, but this just tells you, welcome to your pretty obsessed monthly box. It gives you an email address. It gives you a website. Um, it just says refer a friend, and you get free shipping on their first box with a referral link. Simply log into your account to do this. It's super easy. Refer five friends and get a free box on us. So that's new. Um, and again, it says, if you're not happy with your box, if you have received your box, you're not happy with it, then obviously to contact them. I will put the link down below, although I will say I didn't know. Okay, so if I log into my account to do this, I'll find the referral link. I'll pop that down below. If anybody is interested, then, you know, a couple of you do, then I'll get a free box. So, you know, when when you get free postage, so it does work out for everybody. So let's get down to the contents of the box. Now I did want to try and actually be wearing a look with this makeup when I did this video, unfortunately, because of the, <laughs> just the way it's worked out. Um, I haven't been able to, I am wearing some products from the um, box, but not all of it, I'm afraid. I will apologize now if I look a bit tired and not at my best. I've been up, um, as I said, I've been teaching today. So I've actually kind of struck, come straight in. It's currently around about seven and a half past. Um, and so my makeup's been on since half past seven this morning. Um, and yes, that's, that's just how it is, I'm afraid, so sorry. Now, the first thing that I got again, which is different, in this box was a 30% off exclusive of Vitamasks. So Vitamasks are a, um, a skin mask, a face mask, um, and this gives you 30% off if you use this code. Uh, Vitamasks are a lovely mask and they are doing the rounds, but you know, it is nice to have some good face masks. So let's get down to the first product, which is a Vitamask face mask. Now, this is a Cosmic Pink Ruby Glitter peel off mask um, the cosmic pink ruby glitter peel off mask is infused with precious gemstone powders that's interesting and hips 
rose hip oil to energize, revitalize, and firm the skin. And it just gives you the, the instructions. So it's made with ruby powder. Oh, little random fact, this necklace just here is ruby. So this is made with ruby powder, diamond powder and rose hip oil. That's strange, so I'm gonna just show you. So this, this pendant that I've, I've, I was wearing here is actually a ruby, this is all ruby. So this is a ruby cabochon and these are ruby drops. So what it's saying is that this face mask is made with the powder ruby. Interesting, I'm gonna give that a try. I might even do that tomorrow because I don't have to be in the, um, in the studio until half past 12, well, about 12-ish. So I'll have time to do that in the morning, try and make myself look a little bit more human for you. Um, then we have the next product that we have, I, take, I took it out of the box, sorry, I put it back in, is this sleek, makeup eye divine mineral based eyeshadow palette in whimsical wonderland i love the packaging okay now again this isn't um priced but these tend to average between eight to ten pound for their eyeshadow palettes now it comes with a little um thing with names on of the colors and then we've got our sort of sorry it's going to reflect oops it's got one of these little applicators and it's just going to reflect everything. But this is the colour palette that we currently have. There is a lovely, very almost spring-like. Um, I know it says Winter Wonderland, but they're quite spring-like in their colours. I love this kind of colour here. And you've got lovely soft. I have just dapped this in and just done the inner corner of my eye with sort of like this silvery colour. But I did kind of try to run this lovely greeny colour under my eyes, but I think they're too tired to take that. Hmm, I will try and do a look maybe with that though. Uh, sleek eyeshadow, a Sleek again as a brand, are a brand that are sort of rising up a little bit. They're becoming quite um, a good little brand. We had a face contour mask, um, mask, a face contour um, palette in the, I wanna say Look Fantastic box of February and I love it. It's got a lovely blush, a lovely highlighter, and a lovely contour. And I, it's something that I've been using daily. So I do find that they're coming up a little bit, probably up with the sort of revolution, maybe, kind of um, status. So lovely little eyeshadow palette, so I'm happy with that. So that's my two items. So item number three is this Cougar by Paula... I want to say... I'm not quite sure what that word is. This one here, and this is an eyeshadow contour set. Now, six shades of new. I do apologize. Six shades of nude. Um, now, Cougar is um, again a. I don't know. I'm just like Cougar. Um, Cougar is an is a brand. Uh, we did have a lipstick or a liquid lip of it, um, either in the last month's box or the month before. It's it's nice. It's a brownie kind of color. It's a nice lips um, liquid lipstick. I haven't used it loads because I have a lot of liquid lipsticks, so I haven't really given it a fair chance. But like I said, I've only seen that brand within this box um, in the UK, certainly. So when I opened it, it reminds me a lot of a blush. Now, can you see here, it is very slightly damaged, but not enough to bother me. Um, this happens sometimes. It has cracked a little bit there. Now, I do know if I was to contact Kelly at Pretty Obsessed, I'm sure she would say, let me send you a new one out. The customer service with this box, I have to say, is a brilliant customer service. Any problems there, on it. I've had a broken highlighter before. They sent me a new highlighter out in my next box. Um, because they didn't have the same one, they just sent me another one out, which was lovely. I had an issue with an eyeliner, which it didn't, it didn't look right, it was white. Um, straight away, she sent me out a colour changing lip stick set as a replacement. I had a mascara that I wasn't 100% happy with. Again, instant replacement, so I can't fault them. But to me, yeah, that's had a little bit of a crack, but it's nothing that I think is going to be too severe. It's certainly not worth, um, I don't feel I need to contact them about it, but I know if I did that they would have a good service about it. So this is new, and it's something I've noticed quite a few kind of Makeup Revolution and a couple of other companies doing this whole like one palette but different colours. So this is an eyeshadow palette but they're all blended in. Sorry the light isn't amazing. I've got a little tiny mini ring light but 
as I said, hotel lights. Um, but it looks interesting. I don't love this layout, if I'm honest, of eyeshadow palettes because I can't, oh, just put my nail straight through it. That was clever. Part of the reason, because of that. Um, I'm just trying to get a colour range on it because the colours are going to kind of blend in to each other, I feel. But that being said, the colours are lovely. I'm just trying to get a little selection. But I'm struggling to kind of get just one. It's very messy. An apology. I've got an eyeliner which I tested when I was wandering around Asda. But this is just a little idea of what they look like. They are nice. shimmery colours but I, I'm not 100% a fan of the way that they're blended in they remind me of you know those get you can get those eyeshadow palettes where you put, you put a brush on the two different colours and it does your eyeliner and your your shadow it does remind me a bit of that but the colour itself is absolutely they look they're lovely so you know, I'll have a play about and see what's what with that so that's item number three then we have item number four which again is another sleek product. It's a product called, yeah, mum. A Kajal, I want to say Kajal eye, eyeliner. Okay. And it's in the shade Odyssey, which is a purple. Now, I've never seen anything like this before. It's a little bit different. So it comes like this. Now, you open it like this, and the product is this. Isn't it different, isn't it? I've not seen anything like this before, but this is the colour here. Again, we'll see if we can get this to focus in a little bit. Bear with me a moment. Get it to... It's not the best setup, I do apologise, but really wanted to get this video done but that's sort of you get an idea of the colour and you just you just draw it on like an eyeliner I mean it's pretty it is pretty it's very purple is it showing it to its true yeah it's probably a little bit brighter than that to the eye but I'm gonna give that a try it's different isn't it um I tell you what Okay, so just had a go, like just drawing it on my eye. Please bear with me, it's over makeup that's already on my eye, so it's not going to be the smoothest um, application. But can you see? It's actually quite nice, it, it's easy to use, and it, it's very, um, it's quite cool. My only concern would be what happens as that starts to blunt down, do you know what I mean? So, as you're using it, it's all right at the moment because it's a finer point. Um, but what happens, move my makeup, um, as you sort of start to wear it down towards the wider part, I don't know, maybe you, maybe you would just turn it into an eyeshadow, I don't know, does it tell me anything on the box? Look at that. It just says this unique chic product is an ultra creamy highly pigmented and long lasting eyeliner glides on effortlessly while emphasizing the eyes with intensity um, it just says this a product can be used as an eyeliner or smudged on to create an eyeshadow look um, oh um, apply this product at an angle in order to avoid the point from going blunt so that's quite cool as you how it tells you that so I may even keep the box because I will forget but yeah so that's item number four so then the next item that we've got is this product here, which is Bella Pierre. It did come in a box. I've just taken it out of the box. Okay, now this is a highlighter or like a luminizer. Uh, liquid gold platinum. So it does come in a box like this and it's, it says shade. It doesn't say a shade. Now, Bella Pierre is actually, again, a bit more of an upcoming brand. It's a brand that I've seen doing the rounds in, say, your Pink Parcel and your Glossy Box products. In fact, I remember getting a Bella Pierre banana powder in my January Look Fantastic. So, it is in the sort of the more known 
um, beauty boxes as well. I also know it to be quite an expensive um, brand. Um, when we have them say, I'm sure we had an eyeshadow, like a powder eyeshadow, roll on powder eyeshadow, possibly from Glossy Box, and it was priced at say £22. It's, it's quite a pricey brand. Um, but so, yeah, again, I wouldn't know the price of this because it doesn't come with any information. But this just says uh, application, it can be mixed with liquid foundation for an all over glow or dabbed and blended onto the high points of the face, cheekbones, etc. So I have, you probably can't see it, just dabbed it onto my cheeks. It's a little bit of a glow. You can kind of see it there. It was super quick um, just to show it. Now it actually is already on my hand just here. So it is a kind of, can you see? I can just, it's very pretty. It's a nice color, it's a very kind of light creamy champagne color. Oop, and it's, a little goes a long way. And there you can see. So again, that would be quite nice as a, as a liquid eyeshadow if you wanted. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice product, I'm happy with that. So that was number five. Then we have, let's come to the next products. So I'm wearing this at the moment, which is the lip liner. It's probably not the best application and it doesn't 100% go with the next product. Um, but it's nice, it's nice. Uh, <laughs> it's not until you look close up that you realize actually that needed a little bit more softening. Uh, but yeah, lip liner here. And this lip liner here so this is from true lips which is I'm not sure the brand mn generation 2 i don't know i've never heard of this brand if i'm brutally honest okay it says it's in shade 46 uh, lip liner pencil and this says provides exceptional lip makeup results that's going to make sense but so that's that. It's the colour I'm wearing, as I've already said. Just so you can see on my hand, it's this lovely kind of rosy kind of nudie colour. Which is great because I do have a lot of this shade of lip, lip liquid lips and lipsticks. Um, now, it's not the best. It's very much like a, like a pencil. You know, like that kind of wooden sharding kind of texture here. Um, I've found it already a little bit blunter so I did sharpen it and just before I put it on today and it has already kind of gone down sorry bear with me a moment it doesn't want to play the game I'm not helping no it doesn't want to play the game there you go hi so can you see what I mean about it? it's quite a see the cracking around it it's not the best product in the world. It's a bit of a cheaper, sorry. It's not the best product in the world. It's a little bit of a cheaper brand, but you know, I've got it on. It looks nice. I'm okay with that. I'll pop it in my traveling bag. It's not a problem. So then the next product that I'm wearing on my lips is the liquid lipstick. And again, this is another Bella Pierre product. So this is a Kiss Proof Lip Cream. Now it is a little bit ish. That looked horrible. But it is transfer proof. It's comfortable to wear and I like the colour. So that is a bonus. It's a nice, again, a lovely shade of nude, really. Um, I'm running out of place in my hand. And this is it just here. And it just dries down to this lovely kind of tone here. So, you know, when I first put this on with the lips liner, it was really quite contrasting but it has deepened itself down and again I like this it's pretty color it's a nice size it's a full size of a big lipstick um have I got the box for that no this didn't come with a box actually if I remember correctly so yeah that's that one there so then we have um this product by um saturated color I'm not quite sure this one here, and it's called Make Me Matte. 
okay? And it is basically a lipstick mattifier. So I'm assuming, I haven't used it yet, but I'm assuming it's like um, you would put a standard lipstick on and pop this over and it would make it into like a liquid, um, a liquid lip effect. It says, make any existing satin or glossy lipsticks matte. Um, it tells you the instructions. And this is the kind of um, the branding just here. So, yeah, I've not tried it. Just because I thought I'd give it a go properly, to be honest. It comes like this. I haven't even opened it, to be honest. Like this. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. So it's kind of like... I mean, I haven't really got any anything to try it on, but I guess it's kind of like, it feels a bit dry. I'm not quite sure. I'll have a go and I'll let you know how it works. Um, but yeah, so that's that product. It's just a lipstick mattifier. So that's eight of the ten. And then the next few products I'm not, I'm not massively impressed with. It just seems to be that month. It seems to be that month of toothpastes and nail varnishes. So... I've already said my nail polish I have done. So I have my nails done actually since the last video. So I think they look a lot better. Um, but I have them um, tidied at the salon. I have them at a nice workable lamp and I have them in a um, gel colour. So I, um, you, you know, they're no good to me. So the first product that I've got is this L'Oreal Mini Magic Manny Retouch and Go in the shade Red. Now it's from L'Oreal, so it's a good brand, um, but it's not something I am familiar with. Oh, I haven't opened, I haven't used it, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. It says to use, shake well with cap still on, press until nail polish comes out and apply on your nails. So I'm not sure if there's an actual proper nail polish and then you can just keep it in your bag, I guess, and touch up as you go. Um, or if it's like a you buy the nail polish separately as a traditional nail polish and this is something that you can just touch the edges up with on your travels. Genuinely, I'm not 100% sure. It's not for me. It wouldn't be for me even if I did do my own nails because I just don't really get it. Um, I'll probably pop this in my giveaway box just because somebody might appreciate it. And then the next product... <sighs> is what brand is it? Sally Hansen. Is it Hansen or Hansen? Hansen. Um, and again, a well known nail brand. She's known for strengthening nails, etc. So, this is a gel polish, but it's step one, which means to me, it's not really much good to you if you don't have step two, which I don't. Um, I get the idea of these polishes. They're intended so that they set like a gel nail, they're gonna last longer and the effect is pretty cool. Um, however, I actually really like the shade. So, oh, it smells strong. It is a lovely kind of, um, like a dove gray. It's a I do like it, I mean, I like gray colors. So this is nice, I like the shade, but for me, first of all, I'm not going to wear it anyway because of the nail situation. And secondly, it's step one out of two. I'm proud you gave me both steps, you know, because now I've still got to go out. If I like this, I've then got to go out and buy step two for this to work. Because my understanding is you have step one and step two. And you have to have this and then go over with the top coat, which is step two, to complete the overall look. So... That one's a bit pointless to me. So I definitely am happy with the eight products though. So, you know, we've got, just to recap, we've got the nail stage one and the touch and go. Um, we've got the mattifier, the Belle Pierre um, liquid lip, the lip liner, the Belle Pierre um, highlighter, the sleek eyeliner in the shade purple, the Cougar kind of eyeshadow contour palette set, the Eye Divine makeup eyeshadow set and the pink glitter mask and that is my box i'm happy with eight of the products to be honest with you and i have to say i definitely think the value is going to definitely be over my 24 pound that i've paid well probably about 28 29 by the time i've covered my postage so i am actually happy with it there was a few duds but you know what the rest of them i think were good enough to kind of balance out those duds um and that's pretty much it i do apologize for the settings and layout but you know, it is what it is, and I wanted to get this video out to you because I'm working tomorrow, just won't have time. Um, but like I said, this is the box, good to go. Tell me, what do you think? Is it a good box? 
did you like it do you think they could do better what do you think please let me know down below i'd love to hear from you um yeah um as always i hope you have um you, i hope you like this video if you do please give me a thumbs up please click subscribe that'd be really really appreciated and the notification bell as well um you know i think that's it <laughs> as always have a great day